Hey guys, and uh, welcome to vir Virtual Acceleration. This is actually like my third time recording this, so sorry if I rush this a bit. It just doesn't seem to want to codec this correctly. So, we have uh, a file that has been sent in by Kyle Moon. Uh, he, he sent it in through, he, he first started posting pictures of it in Virtual Acceleration here, and I was like, okay, well, it, it's a full interior scene done in Blender, and... It's I, I totally understand the feel that he's going for, but I noticed that you know there's a lot of really really dark spots and uh, you know parts that just seem you know too well lit to not go through the rest of the room, and I was I asked him I'm like hey uh, ever thought about doing this in cycles could give it that look that you're looking for and he's like I don't know how, so I, I struck a deal with him said you know put it on virtual acceleration post up the file and I'll start playing around with it, so here we are. Uh, this is his scene. I tried to not touch up that uh, anything. You know, I didn't mess with the actual uh, vertices at all. The only thing I actually did was when I was looking through the geometry of it all, there were a couple of T faces in here. It was a face inside of the structure here that didn't make it a solid mesh. And uh, remember, guys, when you guys are doing this, uh, keep away from triangles and keep away from T faces because it makes doing. Uh, it makes doing a lot of modifiers really, really difficult because it just makes the computer kind of tweak out about it. So uh, I split this into two materials, and uh, I'll be showing off these a little bit. I really use about the same uh, node setup just about every single time, uh, except for special cases, and you'll see what I do. So on the bookshelf here, the only thing that I messed with on the architecture was the edges. Now, when I first got this, it was a completely flat thing, and it looked like this. I just thought that, you know, smoothing it out and adding in a edge split to give it these hard edges around here, and I set the number to 30 because it just, it's the default, and it looks the best for this anyways. And, yeah, uh, another thing is that the lampshade, I did put the solidify modifier on, so that way when we put on the translucent here, within the node setup that it would be able to recognize volume and you know use it for showing off translucency now this is my normal setup and it was used for the walls here and it's using the color map going through the diffuse into a mixed shader and I was mixing it with glossy so that way when we were using our displacement everything would look correct you know um, when the first time that I started rendering this and I looked at the wall it, the mortar was sticking out and the brick was inlaid so I, I inverted the displacement here to make it look correct here and after all that was done I, I think we, I had a pretty decent wall look now each time that I did this I used uh, smart UV unwrap just hit tab U smart UV project uh, a lot of the time you know you gotta know how to mark seams and stuff like that and I'll be and I've done videos to show that kind of thing so uh, but for this, I was trying to do it quickly as possible, doing a really quick conversion. Uh, this is my normal setup, really. It's your meat and potatoes. It's what will really, you know, it just makes things look all right. Uh, playing with these numbers a little bit will get you where you want to go, but it, it's not a bad node setup for beginners. Now here, I actually use something that a lot of people don't play around with, and I gave the rod here patina, and I did that by uh, using the Fresnel node into the um, into the factor node here. Not into the factor node, but the factor input here. And what it does is that as the camera is looking at it from a certain angle, it will make it look more like this, and on where it's more facing the camera, it'll look more yellow, giving it a patina look. Uh, what else do we have here? Now, I didn't use the glossy for this because it just didn't look all that, all that great when I used it on here, though I do most of the time say go for it, but it does use up more processing time as it, it's bouncing more light from here to there to there to there. On the floor, I used about the same setup once again, used a I never really pump the color into glossy because whenever light bounces off something, most of the time the gloss is white. Uh, so this is really pretty, really simple. I even kept the red block down here. Uh, Kyle, what does this block do? Uh, 
you know, you just leave a comment, let me know. Uh, if you guys like what you saw here of this breakdown, you can go to Virtual Acceleration. The group is constantly growing. We have all kinds of things being posted up all the time by people. And thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.